Hello everyone. As we go through life, there are many things that lots of us seldom talk about. So let me begin. When was the last time you heard someone talk about the ozone layer and acid rain? There were such popular topics in the 1980s that many of us fear that our planet may soon come to an end. Secondly, how many of us have asked why so many poor people in the United States are so overweight, while millions of poor people in third world nations are underweight? Thirdly, how many of us think about what some politicians are trying to achieve when they make lots of promises of free things to people without telling them that they are going to increase taxes on other hardworking people to pay for it? Fourthly, have you ever noticed how some people in a position of influence would shed false tears at time when they try to convince others by playing on their emotions? Today, while many talk about the urgent need to address climate change, others with a different view say that throughout history, global temperatures have fluctuated between cold and warm periods. Here, many who fear an economic downturn believe that we should take a balanced approach towards a cleaner environment. The reason for this is that we need to take into consideration the following things that are derived from petroleum, such as toothbrushes, eyeglasses, fishing rods, cell phones, soccer balls, dentures, toys, ballpoint pens, car tires, asphalt for roads, and so the list goes on and on. Here it seems that oil may be around for a very long time. Again, with there being approximately 1.4 billion cows worldwide, and with the greenhouse gas emissions that are emitted from them and other livestock, how many of us are willing to cut back on meat, butter, milk, and cheese? Aside from this, let's not forget the carbon emissions from the textile industry, agricultural waste, and airplanes. The question here is, how many of you are willing to give up flying on an airplane to protect our environment? It is said that fossil fuels like coal, gas, and oil still supply a large percentage of our world energy. And now on a separate note, how many of us think about the effects of pesticides in some of the foods that we eat? The reason for mentioning this is that some studies have linked low sperm count in men to certain pesticides. To learn more about this, it is good to look at some of the studies relating to reproductive disorders in alligators in Florida that have been linked to low testosterone levels and the smaller than normal size of the male reproductive organ of gators because of the amount of pesticides and fertilizers that drain into their habitats. Here I would like to say that I am not a doctor or scientist, but I like to encourage others to observe things with an open mind. Well, if you would like to see more of my videos on a wide range of topics, please hit the subscribe button and click on the link in the description.